So it is lunchtime here in Valencia, Spain, and of course we had to order paella. This is considered the national dish of Spain by foreigners, but Spaniards will tell you this is more of a regional specialty. So we've ordered two paellas. The first one is the Valencian one, and then we've also ordered something that's called fidewa, which is a noodle paella, which comes from Alicante. So that's going to be coming in 20 minutes, and in the meantime, we've ordered some tapas. Yes. So we have the jamón serrano, we also have batatas bravas, and we have some loaves of bread fresh out of the oven. So this is going to be really tasty. Sure is. Okay, so I'm going to try all three of the different tapas. Alright. So first off, the batata bravas. And the best way you can describe this is like the sauce is kind of spicy. It looks like ketchup, but it doesn't taste like it. It's, it's very different. Well, wait until you take a bite of it because it should be spicy, but mm. this is something else. <laughs> this one actually is ketchup. <laughs> oh, is it? No, it, it's, it's spicy ketchup though. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's spicy ketchup. It is. Okay, and I'm gonna try the cured meat over here, the cured ham. Yeah, so this one really is from good. Serrano. This is probably my favorite there. snack since we've been in Spain. I just love the, the local cured hams. They're just so delicious. Oh. Melts in your mouth and which is like such rich flavors. And mm -hmm. I love how it's a little bit fatty too. Mm -hmm. Really just oh my gosh, I just sure know how to make the cured meats here. Yeah, and on this one they've They've poured a little bit of olive oil over it and also added some raisins, a little bit of sweetness. Yep. And they brought us over hot bread. Yeah. So check out that. <laughs> no butter, yeah, no we, nothing, just the, the bread. The only problem is we don't. We want to make sure we don't fill up on too much of this stuff before the paella comes. This <laughs> is la paella valenciana. Oh, oh. This is para dos personas? Para dos. Wow. Yeah. Sí, pero ahora te lo explico. Okay. Ya está. La oh, ponemos sí. al centro. Ok, sí. Así. Muy bien. Gracias. Vale, la paella, aunque sea grande, yeah. ten en cuenta que esta paella puede ser para dos, para tres o para uh -huh. cuatro, pero el arroz es okay. cantidad para dos. Oh, sino okay. que está extendido. Ok, ok. All right, guys, so the food is here. And we are going to start off with the Valencian paella. Sí. And let's talk about the ingredients. So yeah. this one comes with chicken. Yeah. Rabbit meat. Yep. And it also has snails, green and beans. it has green beans, and it has cardo beans, and what's this, rosemary right here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This looks so good, and the, so we're the, gonna scoop some up. The rice is cooked in saffron, I believe. Yes, yes. that gives it its yellow color. Yes. And we should also talk about the size of the pan. So the waiter was just explaining, like, this looks massive. It's only for two people. But what they do is, if they have more people eating out of it, like three or four, they just keep adding more rice, and it'll right. be, like, So it's thicker. thicker. So this yeah. is a bit thin. But, but this this is for two. Yeah, and we have another one, so... It looks a bit excessive. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna dig right in. Let's grab a little bit of meat. I imagine this must be the chicken. And let's try this. Let's see. Mm. No, it's really nice. The meat is crispy, and golden. So is the rice. Oh, I love it! When, I love it when we get the golden rice like that. Mm -hmm. That's the best part for mm -hmm. sure. We'll be scraping the pan at the end. Yes, absolutely. Everyone's dishing it up. Oh yeah, we're all loading up. <laughs> My turn to try this. So exciting! Like when they brought it, it was just like a moment of joy. Like I didn't, I had no idea it would be this big or this generous. This is awesome. Okay, so I've got my portion here. Mm -hmm. And so what, what I find so neat about paella is that there's so many different kinds you can have, from mm. vegetable to seafood to this traditional Valencian yeah, one. Yeah, you can too. have mixed ones as well. Yeah, there was, one on, and chicken. there was one on the menu that had um, black, black squid ink that we, oh, yeah, we, we yeah. were eyeing that as black well. Black rice. So let's try a bit of that. Mm. 
Sí. Okay. Una victoria. Sí. So flavorful and savory. And I actually tried to bite without the chickens. I had mm -hmm. the beans and the white beans, the green beans. That was really tasty. Do you want to grab a snail for us on camera, Sam? Oh, it's this hard. is escargot. Let's mm. do some digging oh. around in there. The chicken is is really done well. Yeah. It's smoky. Yeah. It's got a bit of a smoky taste. Mm, there we go. Struggling with the escargot. Yeah. There it is. And that's a little bit um, it's got a bit of a slimy and chewy consistency, <laughs> but it's it's nice because it adds some you know it's some it adds extra, a bit of saltiness. Some yeah. Extra to the rice. Yeah. So that's really good. All right. My goodness, this is this is amazing pie. And this is only the first. I know. There's right more to come. All right, so Daddy on the patio is gonna try some paella. <laughs> you've, been, you've already been having a bit. <laughs> How is it? Delicioso. Delicioso. <laughs> it really is good. What, what's your favorite part? Do you like the rice? Do you like the chicken? I like the everything green in tandem. I like the green beans and the rice. Yeah, it's really. And of tasty. course, all the meat as well. It's yeah, excellent. It's excellent, isn't it? And we have another one to go, so. Mm. <laughs> okay, so next up, this is the alternative to paella. This is yeah. Alicante's version, and it's made with noodles. That's right. But be before I even talk about this, I have to first talk about the paella now. For the four of us to finish that, I give us an A+, plus because that wasn't easy. That was a lot of food. Yeah. And now we're moving on to round two. We Here have we another have. big, big pot full of, of food to eat. Yeah, look at those So colors. I'm just gonna use the spoon here. So this one has um, prawns, it has cuttlefish, it has a different kind of noodle. It also mussels, has saffron. Oh, mussels too, peppers. that's right. Yeah, look at this. That it's looks got, amazing. It's got a bit of everything. It smells really good. It has like a very strong fish seafood smell. So I should say not fish seafood smell, as you can imagine. So now it's time for the first bite. It's so good. I'm gonna make sure I get some fish in there, or some seafood, I should say. Why do I keep calling everything fish today? <laughs> I don't know. We've got noodles. Creatures of the sea. Creatures of the sea, yeah. Fruta de mare. There you go. <laughs> mm. wow. The one thing that they do have in common is that the noodles are kind of cooked crispy, similar to the rice. Ooh. But it isn't quite as crispy as the rice. It just has a very, it has a different texture. It's kind of nice to try both of them, so mm -hmm. you can compare and contrast. And what's nice about um, it's it's just also nice and very flavorful and salty with the with the saffron and also the juiciness of the of the seafood. Wow, wonderful! No, yeah, just a lot going on, a lot of flavors. I would call it a flavor explosion. It's All delicious. Right. Let's continue enjoying, man. Pumpy has a nice full plate. It looks really good. Get a little bit of this. A little bit of everything going on. A little bit of this, everything. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. There we go. Did you get some cuttlefish in that bite? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice and salty. Mm -hmm. I know. I love how salty it is. It's A1. Perfect. A1, exactly. And do you, do you still have much of an appetite after the pie? Are you starting to get There's full? There's a, a small corner of the stomach that's still left. <laughs> but true. it's getting filled. I have, filled feel, up, I have a feeling there'll be leftovers. Like, we have barely put a dent in this yet, guys. But it's really good. Mm. All right, Audrey. Oh. Take one for the team. She's the getting full. Struggle is real. This struggle. is way too much food, if you ask me. But here <laughs> we are, going in for the fidoa. But I, you, you got to respect the generous portions here, though. Oh yeah. So nice. Oh yeah. Seriously. So nice. Like I feel like the first one, which is only for two people, it could have easily fed three or four. Oh yeah, for sure. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. All right. Let's okay. try that. Let's try this. It's mostly, we need more noodle in there, more noodle. More noodle, less, less fruit of the sea. Less fruit of the sea. <laughs> mm. That's great. Yeah, it's a nice mm -hmm. contrast from the pie, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. quite different. There's similarities, but this definitely has a different texture from yeah. the rice one. Especially with the seafood versus mm -hmm. the meat. Meat yeah, and the beans. They are both equally tasty, if yeah. you ask me. Exactly. So, do you, do, you, do you have a favorite, Dad, between the two, or do you, or do you like them kind of equally? Rice uh, or noodle? I think I think I like the uh, seafood better. Yeah. You like the seafood better, this one? Yeah. I like the seafood better, but I also like the rice better. So okay. If, so you know, seafood yeah. paella would be the ultimate for you. Seafood paella would be... That should be the, the next thing we order. There we go. 
All right, Sam, time to tell us the price. Oh, oh my gosh. Video. Before I do that, I have to say, we polished off the Fidua as well. Everything. I feel as though if I got a, for a recent meal, if I got a gold star for gluttony, this time we deserve a master's in gluttony, something to right. frame a degree on, on the wall. Okay. Over the bed. Okay. We ate so much, there's, there's no, gonna be no dinner tonight. Anyways, that was just a wonderful meal. Just a great place, really nice service, great quality. So meal in total came to 82 euros, just over 82 euros. Mm -hmm. And when you divide it by four, my mom and dad were here as well. So it's just over 20 euros per person. Mm -hmm. And that included two really nice appetizers, complimentary bread, a liter of water to share, and of course those two main dishes. So that was just outstanding value. We are all so full. We are going to be in full on siesta mode, not just a little one, but a long one this afternoon. And if you're if you're visiting uh, here in Valencia, Spain, definitely have to try the paella and fidua. And also you should consider coming to this restaurant too, it's really good. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Tata from Valencia, Spain.